Chase and the, the, the seedlings of motocross. And these guys on these machines are 50 cc still, but the displacement as far as uh, horsepower, not nearly as much. They don't have as uh, much suspension either. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about once they take off. They are as follows. Number three, R.J. Bryan out of Milford, Ohio, on the Yamaha. Number four, Dakota Jones out of Zanesville. He's on the Yamaha. Jacob Seymour rides out of Williamsport on a Suzuki. Number seven, Cody Harden, the number 21 on the Bloomington, Indiana, on a Yamaha. Number 45, Kyle Contra out of Lancaster, Ohio, on a Yamaha. Number 48, Cameron Reese out of Georgetown, Indiana. They're on Yamaha. This is the number 57, Kyle Harden out of Bloomington, Indiana. On a Suzuki, the number 58 of Brandon Raymer. That's an F and S Suzuki he's riding out of Union City, Ohio. The number 70 of Troy Wurzel out of Heath on his Yamaha. 72 of Ryan Wolf. The Saturday night feature event, uh, second place finisher, actually Friday night winner. And second place last night for uh, Wolf, the son of the promoter Drew Wolf, Ryan. Look for him to be a strong finish here. Also on the track, the number 85, Devin Stans, right now, Winchester. A couple of guys get together. 208, Jordan Boswell's out of Batavia. 228, Pete Day Trust out of Batavia. 829, Austin Selborne's out of Kalink, Kaleida. And uh, the riders in our little uh, mishap there, R.J. Bryant, the number three, and the number 57 of Kyle Harden. But as we look to the front of the pack, Dakota Jones from Zanesville has the lead with the number 72 of Ryan Wolf running a very close and tight second place and a lot of competition being offered up out of the number 21 of Cody Harden as well as he's out of Bloomington challenging both second and first place riders right now. Back in third, the 48 of Cameron Reese. Fourth place, the number 70 machine of Troy Wurzel. Fifth place, or make that sixth place, I guess we should say, the number seven of Jacob Seymour and his Suzuki. And back up to the first, second, and third positions. It looks like uh, Cody Harden made the pass on Wolf, and Wolf drops the third. Harden now your second place right as he's hunting down the number four, Dakota Jones, into the whoop de doos Check out this line he's got. Very fast line through the whoop de doos side by side nearly, but not able to pull completely up. Dakota Jones able to get that line as they head on the back side of the track once again and head through that uh, rocker section, this timing section, which is a single, single, single for these guys. For the pros, a triple, triple, and for most other folks, a double, double, double section. It's a very tricky and interesting design by promoter Drew Wolf, and has offered up a lot of interesting passes throughout uh, this weekend of racing that we've enjoyed here in Columbus. The four of Dakota Jones looking over the right shoulder, checking to see the number 21 still close in tow. And he knows he's got to keep the throttle on through this whoopie do section because he knows that Harden is a hard charger through this section. And Harden trying to use different lines, hoping maybe that he might be able to throw off the number four of Dakota Jones, making him choose a different line possibly, and even uh, be able to uh, out manipulate or out maneuver him on this track and be able to take over the lead as we head toward the checkpoint area. Getting a will and check it out. Almost pro level pass attempts there. As a little bump and grind in the third just before the finish line area. Dakota Jones still keeping the throttle on. The not one the 21 of Harden to get anywhere near that first place position. Nowhere near or nearer than he is now anyway. As we head through this what we do section, we look ahead just a little further and we see the lap traffic. This could become a big player in the race, but it's not going to have to if the Jones goes down and the 20, check this out, a big interesting turn of events there. The 21 of Harden goes clearly outside. I don't know if he was checking to see if his buddy was okay or whether the bike stalled out or what. But meantime, the 72 of Wolf, who was keeping an eye on this very intense race just ahead of him, takes over the lead now on the number 72 machine in the latter part of this race. And now he approaches the lap traffic and he's going to try to use it to his advantage and not to his disadvantage as uh, it looks like Dakota Jones is already up and on a mission on that number four machine, gets out of his line, a very tough line there for the small bikes. Oh, and Harden and Jones get together again as Jones bobbles and Jones goes down, he puts the helmet, to adjusts the helmet back, tries to get back into the race as Harden's still in the hunt. Meanwhile though, the 72 of Wolf is pulling this one out farther and farther in the hunt for the checkers here in this 50cc PW class. Still no white flag, so Wolf still got a few more laps and a lot more to, uh, defending to do at that number one position as it looks like the 21 of Harden may be starting to close in as Wolf having problems getting around some of this lap traffic out here. 
It is Hunt for the checkers. Oh my, getting bumped by one of those uh, lap riders. I'm not necessarily bumped, but coming close to bumping, I guess we could say. Wolf losing a little time, but Harden not able to gain a whole lot there. A little air coming off the wheels of the 72 of Wolf as he's trying to keep the machine going as fast as possible under that lap traffic. Even more Jones down again over here. Helmet off this time, so he's completely out of the race. And the battle up front, very intense. So hard to take our eyes off this one as uh, we're under the white flag. And check this out. Bump and grind. Wolf put to the outside. And the 21 of Harden takes over the lead. And Wolf still trying to get his machine up. Should still be able to hang out in the second place. I'm not sure where our third place ride would be, but I think it would be that number 57 who was involved in the first uh, Part of the race crash and got started off uh, in a near last place position. I think he's moved up to third place now and unofficially up to a fourth place position. We'll say Cameron Reese aboard the number 48 machine. And we'll leave it at that for the time being as the checkers fly. It looks as though the 21 of Harden takes the win.